Hi, this is Jim Starkweather, the publisher of Kitmaker Network and Model Shipwrights, and welcome to another episode of Turning the Page. Today we've got a new book uh, from the folks at Kagero. This is, I believe, um, someone can correct me if I'm wrong in this in the comment section, but this is the first book I've seen from them that actually is a lot of 3D CAD work for a ship model. Um, very dramatic, very impressive work by uh, Stefan Draminski. Um, I um, a bit stunned actually when I first looked at this book. All right, so uh, this is super drawings in 3D. Now we've seen top drawings before, so I think they're trying to distinguish this as a better series or a, kind of a higher elevation, elevated series. Um, and these are in 3D. Now basically what these are are the same probably CAD drawings that the uh, authors had been prim working with before that, just in line drawings, but these have been extended out to basically be fully three-dimensional um, with color and um, effects. Not not a lot of weathering per se, but obviously like the way the uh, ship might have looked in a new-ish state. So this one is the battleship USS Massachusetts. Um, this is uh, item 16027 in their, in their numbering series or their cataloging series. So you can see on the back they've got a reverse shot there of the ship. Now it isn't just the cover. When you open the, um, these books up you get uh, lots more uh, full CAD work. So, I mean, it almost looks like a model. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> it's a three-dimensional model of the ship. Now, there are, lot, there are a lot of people, it's interesting about this topic, there are a lot of people that are um, kind of theorizing that in the future, maybe this is what modelers become. Maybe they become three-dimensional modelers of ships. In other words, you find something you want to model and you create, uh, working with software, you create a three-dimensional model of it. Um, not sure that that will, I mean, it already is kind of a hobby. There are people out there that that's what they do. I think that hasn't really hurt uh, scale modeling. If anything, scale modeling has grown in the last, say, 10 years. Um, so we'll see, I guess. Um, it's one of those, uh, you know, questions about what how the hobby is going to potentially transform in the future. But I think that since we like working with our hands, I think it'll always be kind of a real hand, hand hobby, not a, not a virtual screen kind of hobby. All right, so I didn't know much about it. What's ironic is I was actually born in Massachusetts, and I was not really very up on this uh, this uh, ship's history. So when I first got this book, one of the first things I did was you know read a little bit about the ship and find out more about it. So um, I was surprised to learn, uh, obviously, that's a kind of a pre-Iowa class uh, battleship design. Looks very similar to me, anyways. Not being a expert on uh, World War II era battleships. Um, but uh, obviously it has the same type of main gun. But this one had a smaller, it had a single stack was one of the main differences, I guess. Um, and then it just had a you know, slightly different configuration on all the, um, the other uh, hull and, and uh, superstructure components. So um, again, the book goes into some history, um, uh, construction, Battle of Casablanca, service in the Pacific. Uh, here's some more of the CAD work. I'm just gonna show you these kind of initial things. I'm not gonna show the entire book, obviously. But you know, you can see what we're dealing with here, and, and maybe I'll, I've got the, the uh, I've got the camera off autofocus, but I'll, I'll go ahead and switch it back on briefly for this. Um, what you can see here is, uh, let it focus in here, some really, really close up detail and, and full effect. I mean, they've really rendered the entire thing in 3D. So you, you know, it's, you get essentially what you'd get from a, say a special effects movie now, where you, where you look like you're looking at something um, in a movie. Um, because I can, you know, I can tell you that these these look a lot like the Titanic uh, renderings and so forth you saw in the movie for the ship, uh, which also was obviously brand new at that point. So um, there is a little bit of weathering. It looks like you know just some kind of minor shading effects and things like that. Uh, but anyway, so like I said, I'm not going to show you the whole book. They do they do still include some line drawings, and this is the one here that uh, is the one three fiftieth scale uh, one to one for the for scale. In other words, it's the same as the three fiftieth. Uh, scale size uh, and it, these pull out can't really show the whole thing because it's too big but anyways these open up and if I can get it without wrinkling it anymore uh, to you know this size and uh, they show both the, the bow and stern of the ship as well as top and side views and then on the back they have even a, like 200 scale um, rendering or drawings out of various detail components and things on the ship different scales. Actually, there's a 1 50th scale for the 40 millimeter, 40 millimeter Bofors. Uh, a lot of this 1 200, some is 1 100 scale, 
150th again. But, so that's all clearly marked though, like what scale is what. Uh, so moving on, get this thing somewhat back to the way it was. So you can see again, a close up detail of a lot of these same pieces of the guns, more detail of guns. Uh, so a lot of really great detail. I, I, you know, I'm not even sure what the list price on this book is, but I'd have to say for what you're getting here, uh, to, to actually detail out a model and su potentially super detail it, I think you probably would be, um, very happy with having a resource like this. So here's the actual, they've actually done a lot of these, so I'm, I'm a complete idiot, obviously. <laughs> so they've done the North Carolina, the Takeo. So I, this is just the first one they particularly sent me. Why? Why is this the first one you've sent me? Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, a lot of these uh, have been put out. So this is just the latest in this series. Um, but yeah, I, 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 you know, like I said, I'm really impressed. I think it's great. And it's not by any way of being an expert on the ship, but just from the standpoint of what you're getting. So I hope you enjoyed that little preview, uh, a little longer than normal for me for books. Uh, you can take a look at this um, online. It is available for a uh, written review. If somebody wants to request it, I will send it along for a written review. If not, I'll gladly keep it here in my library. So uh, thanks to, again to the folks at uh, Kagero for sending us this, and uh, I hope to see more in this series because it's, it's pretty cool. All right, well, thanks for watching.